This episode of the Cubmaster Minute is the first of a two-episode series discussing our 2021 membership renewal process. In part one, we'll discuss the changes in our dues and member benefits. Hello, Mr. Maloney here with a new episode of the Cubmaster Minute presented by PAC 457 in Zelenople, Pennsylvania. In today's episode, we'll be discussing how the PAC pays for our activities, scout registration with the BSA, and how recent events are impacting our dues. We've got a lot to cover, so let's jump in. So we have not raised our PAC dues in many years, at least the three years I've been with the PAC. However, Several recent events have caused our PAC leadership team to reevaluate our dues this year. So let's start with some positives. We made some investments in the program last year, new flags, updates to our Pinewood Derby track, and some other things like that. Now that increased our cost, but these are not expected to recur this year. We also had a very successful popcorn sale last year, selling $28,284 of popcorn, which earned the pack uh, $9,250. Now the silver lining in the current pandemic has actually positively impacted our pack costs because we've held our meetings virtually with minimal supplies needed. However, we are being told that businesses like Lowe's and Walmart will not allow us to sell popcorn outside of their stores for health and safety reasons related to the coronavirus. Now, 38% of our popcorn sales last year came from selling at these storefronts. As a result, we don't expect to raise as much money this year. Additionally, the Boy Scouts of America National Office recently announced an increase in the fees that we pay for each scout to participate in the program. Annual fees have increased from $33 a year to $66 a year. They've also introduced a one-time $25 joining fee for youth who are new to BSA programs. That's going to uh, apply to most Cub Scouts joining our uh, pack. Now, 100% of youth member and adult leadership registration fees go to support the operation of the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America. And these fee increases are necessary because of the cost of liability insurance that has to be carried to cover all scouting activities has increased dramatically over the last uh, year. The national organization is no longer able to offset the costs of this insurance coverage. The BSA has also added a single $75 per year fee for units as we recharter. Now let's take a look at how much it takes to run our program. Now keep in mind, some of these details are estimated. Last year, our program cost an average of about $180 per scout. That includes your scout's annual dues to the BSA, which was $33, a subscription to Boys Life Magazine, that's an additional $12, a Class B t-shirt, that was $11, all of your scouts rank patches and adventure belt loops or pins, that's about $20 per scout a year. It also covers administrative costs like paying for our leader's registration, cost of the pack trailer, things like that. That's about uh, $20 a year. And the remaining $85 covers the venues and other equipment and supplies that we need uh, to hold our pack and den events. Remember, we provide these to our scouts and their families free of charge. Now, last year, our dues covered less than 40% of our costs, and we recovered the rest with the roughly $150 per scout that we earned in the popcorn sales. Now, let's adjust this to show our estimated pack costs for the 2021 pack year. Let's increase the annual uh, BSA dues to $66, and let's make our administrative costs about uh, $550. Now let's decrease our popcorn revenues by $60 per scout to assume we won't have uh, any popcorn sales, uh, storefront popcorn sales this year. 
Now, as you can see, these changes will cause us to operate the pack at a shortfall per scout this year. Now, we're still committed to keeping our official pack and den events free of charge for our members and their families. And the pack is currently in a good financial position uh, that will allow us to continue to provide a quality Cub Scouting program. However, we want to be thrifty. And just like we treat the outdoors, we want to help leave our pack better than how we found it. As a result, the PAC Leadership Committee has decided to increase our annual dues by $5. That's from $70 a year to $75 a year. That's a little bit more than $6 a month. We're also actively exploring other fundraising options like selling Christmas wreaths or meat sticks. And we'll be encouraging donations to the PAC to help run our program. We're also changing some of our member benefits. Specifically, the PAC will no longer purchase a Boys Life magazine subscription. That's a $12 uh, saving to the program. And families can choose to add on a Boys Life subscription to their membership dues. We also will not be purchasing any new Class B shirts for existing members this year. That's an $11 savings to our program. If you or your scout need new Class B gear, you can order it through the PAC web store at, uh, at cost. Now for our new members, the PAC will cover the one-time new member joining fee for the 2021 PAC year. And we'll also purchase our new members a new Class B uniform shirt. I know that these changes are not ideal, but I still believe that scouting is a great value it costs less for a year of participation than most sports cost for a season. And I also believe that scouting can teach our youth valuable skills that will continue to serve them even as adults. We will continue to monitor our costs closely this year and we'll keep you up to date on any changes through our monthly pack update. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or feedback on our annual dues, please reach out to me at cubmaster at cubscoutpack457.org. And don't forget to join us in our next episode where we'll walk through the 2021 membership renewal process. Until then, stay safe and stay scouting.